We're reporting from Munich, the high-end show, and we're standing here um, at Warwick Acoustics um, with Martin Roberts, and uh, he's going to give an introduction about the company and uh, what you do and what you're presenting. Over right. to you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, I'm Martin Roberts. I'm the MD of our headphone business. So, uh, Warwick Acoustics has actually been going for, for a few years now and we have a rather unique technology which uh, was originally developed by Warwick University and was spun out as a privately funded business. Um, we basically were looking for uh, uh, the right kind of uh, product for our technology which is all about delivering absolutely unadulterated pure sound reproduction which fits mm -hmm. very well with what you guys do because yes. you're producing the pure files we want a system that can play that music back as it was intended so we developed our uh, our HPAL technology which is basically a kind of electrostatic loudspeaker and basically this is our generation one and this here is the generation two which is in the new product called the Aperio which is what we're launching here at Munich High End this weekend. Well congratulations it looks and sounds fabulous. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah we have here our, our latest flagship product called the Aperio. It gets its name from Latin meaning uncover, open and reveal. So basically this here is a fully balanced system. Um, you get a high-end headphone using our HPAL technology. It's, the system though, what's important is it's all designed from the ground up. So every single component within our system is optimized to give the best possible performance. DSD stays DSD, analog stays analog. We don't tinker with anything, we don't change any sample rates or anything. It's basically as pure as we can get. Dan, we're here at the uh, Munich Audio Show 2019 and it's wonderful to be uh, in this room with you. I actually just found out we have quite a lot in common as far as going back to year 2000 when we were both uh, helping to develop the uh, SSCD or DSD as we know it today. But let's first talk about your background, if you could. So, as you said, um, going back to 2000 or even the late 1990s, I, um, I was part of Sony Electronics and I was drafted into the uh, Super Audio CD group. And um, um, my, my real task was to develop playback product. So we had this great new format, but we needed high resolution playback equipment. Um, and at that time, it was primarily loudspeakers that I was involved with. So I was developing studio monitor loudspeakers. We used that in the uh, SACD group for demonstrating our new format uh, in stereo and also multi-channel. And of course, there was a large team at Philips and Sony, and we all worked together. and. Interestingly enough, we're still together. Um, I think we all fell in love with this format and, and what it really delivers in terms of, of musicality and enjoyment. And um, the R&D team that's behind this product, uh, many of them came out of that same heritage of, of um, Super Audio CD and DSD. So... Uh, we're totally committed to, you know, high-res audio in general, but um, DSD is really at our, at our heart. And um, we developed this product primarily for um, professional audio use. It handles all the um, DSD formats up to quad DSD in DOP and also in uh, native. When we're streaming over a network, we can still handle those formats. For example, DL DLNA uh, limitations sometimes cut off DSD. You can't do it. Um, but we designed this product to be able to uh, overcome those limitations. Um, so there's, there's a strong commitment from the entire R&D team 
um, for high res audio and DSD. Everything is dependent on the filtering. You can say we'll go up to quad DSD, we'll even go up to 512, God knows what the future will bring. But it really doesn't matter if the filtering is not absolutely perfect. Can you tell us what makes this box then so special? I completely agree about the filtering and um, what we do in this product um, <clears throat> is um, we, we optimize the, the filtering separately for PCM, separately for DSD. Um, we keep analog as analog, but um, um, any processing that we do, at least in the PCM domain, um, is done with 64-bit uh, fixed point processing. Um, so, uh, of course, the, the characteristics of the filter are important, but also um, how you're executing those filters is important. They both matter. And what I can say about the filtering we're using is it's optimized mostly for the time domain. So um, we believe that one of the virtues of DSD is time domain, so we're very sensitive to that. Every element of the product, including the filtering, is really optimized for time domain. The key aspect about the Aperio headphone system is that it's a complete system. Everything from data input to the final sound at the listener's ears uh, is optimized in one system. So. I look at this as analogous to a car company. If you're buying a Ferrari, for example, everything is optimized for the highest performance altogether as a complete system. So this is not like a lot of other products that are just a component that are get mixed and matched with other components. We've optimized everything for the complete playback experience and this is really uh, designed as a reference product for you know, producing music, recording, mixing, mastering, uh, as well as for playback uh, for consumer use. It acts as a preamplifier, it acts as a D to A converter, and it acts like a headphone amplifier, and it also includes um, uh, a line output section so you can use it with conventional amplifiers and loudspeakers for playback.